Okay, this is the the personal session. Okay, we are going to start right now. And let me share the information with the with the student who is going to be here right now. Okay, I'm going to share the link with the students. Here is the link for the personal session. Miss, Mrs. Estela, I think Estela was the name of the student. I am going to be working with her because other, it was other students, um, other students turn, but in this case, she told me that she was available right now. Okay, Varela Velasquez. Okay, Miss Varela, how may I help you? We have yeah. 10 minutes. My problem is, is the conversation. Conversation, so we are going to have a conversation, okay. Mm, tell me a topic, any topic. Um, um, um work work about, okay. about talk work about, talk about work for example tell me how was your day today at work uh, today was um, um a normal day mm -hmm. describe what you did i today. wake i wake up early mm -hmm. and then then uh, i go to the work i i uh, i uh, i start i start at 8 a.m okay miss if you allow me to make an observation okay you are talking about the past okay so you are going to use verbs in the past okay for example uh, uh, look at i'm going to say the same things that you did but i am going to do it in the past because uh, by, for example lo que estaba diciendo usted lo está diciendo en presente y no tiene mucha lógica que me diga verdad Eh, le voy a hablar de mi trabajo y me dice usted, y yo le digo en español, así sonaría en, en español, mis. sonaría como me despierto eh, temprano y trabajo, ¿verdad? O sea, vea que no tiene mucho sentido estar hablando del pasado y decir las cosas en presente, ¿verdad? Entonces, Ajá. en inglés usted tiene que hablar en pasado cuando está hablando de algo en pasado. Tiene que decir, ¿verdad? I woke up, woke up es el, es el pasado del verbo wake, ¿verdad? Y pero como no hemos visto pasado, ah, no, solo no, 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 no. Ah, pero lo vamos a ver, no se preocupe. Pero vea, le hago Ajá. una observación Ajá. que los verbos vea tienen forma pasada. Bueno, entonces sí. si quiere podemos hablar un poquito de del simple past, si gusta. Ok. Vale. Bueno, entonces déjeme abrir aquí el blog de notas para ilustrarle un poquito. Vale, mire, vamos a comenzar estableciendo para qué se utiliza el simple past, ¿ok? Eh, bueno, tengo que compartir pantalla, permítanme, porque no, no va a haber. Ok, ¿puede ver mi pantalla? No. No. Yes. Yes. Ok, excelente. Ok, just let me check if I am recording. I need to know if I am recording. Yes, I am recording. Okay, Miss. Simple past. Okay, eh, disculpe la pregunta, pero usted este, es, es casada. Le puedo decir Misses. Es que Misses es decir en inglés como señora. Porque si le digo Miss, Misses como señorita. No hay ningún Mises. problema si le puedo decir Misses. 
Yes, it's Mrs. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, simple past. Okay, we use the simple past to talk about para poder hablar realmente tengo que tener una base de por lo menos pasado presente y, y para, para poder una conversación porque uno habla tanto de pasado como futuro también sí tiene razón. Pero como eso se va a ir viendo, ahorita realmente las pláticas serían solo en presente. Sí, si se fija, los temas solo van en presente, ¿verdad? Sí. Por eso así es, es que el programa, ¿verdad?, está diseñado para comenzar, ¿verdad?, utilizando ciertas estructuras con ciertos temas que se utilizan esas estructuras. Ok, this was the first session with uh, Mrs. Vázquez, I think. Now it's time to work with other students. Let me see what is the name of the other student so I can pass the link. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, the other student is Escobar Felizar. Okay. Mr. Felizari, I am waiting for you. It's your turn. Voy a etiquetarlo, ¿verdad? Para que él pueda ver el, el mensaje. No, no me permite etiquetarlo. Bueno, in that case, um, I am going to wait for him. If if he doesn't join in in five minutes, I'm going to call out other students. In the meantime, I'm going to explain uh, more about the simple past. Okay, and I'm going to talk about more a list of regular verbs and I'm going to give more examples okay in this case let's let's work with some other verbs for example the verb watch this is a very popular verb okay but I think I'm I am not sharing my screen let me share my screen okay yes notes okay here now I think you can see my screen okay in this case the notes watch we are talking about watch well watch is watch right watch now for example uh, an example would be I watch a um, mm, let's say TV or I watch um, uh, YouTube in my free time all right I I have a notification well I don't know what happened okay let me check if I'm recording yes everything is okay okay now these two sentences are in present but I want to say that I watched TV yesterday. So I would say I watched, okay, I watched. We make that T sound at the end. Okay. Se me ocurre ninguno. Vamos a ver. No, que utilice esa. Mm. Ok, the verb play. 
darle a colaborarle porque ya acabó el tiempo del estudiante que no se unió ok just give me give me a second en estos momentos ¿verdad? le voy a mandar un mensaje al whatsapp a ver si se une Ok, I just send them the, the, the message in WhatsApp. Let's see if is Fidel Pascual a turn. Ok, but I don't know if he's going to join. I am going to drink some coffee because I am a little sleepy. But as you can see, I'm drinking coffee, but I'm going to use that verb, drink, okay? Let me erase all this, okay? I hope that you are seeing my screen. Okay. Drink, but right, we have the verb drink, okay? Remember that we just talked about a regular verbs, but this time we are going to talk about irregular verbs and the verb drink is a irregular verb, okay? So, uh, with the example of the coffee, okay? I drink Uh, what else can we count? Let's say, um, for example, cell phone, okay, or a smartphone. Can we count cell phones or, or a smartphone? Can we say one cell phone, two cell phones? Yes, we count them. For example, you can say, how many cell phones do you have? And I can say, well, I only have one cell phone. Okay, and other thing, you can say computer, okay? How, how many computers do you have? Well, I have, I have one computer, okay? One computer, yes? Now let me put the camera back. I hope I don't mess this up, okay? There we go, thank God. Okay, let me fix the camera. No, it was in that position. Okay, sorry about that, but I wanted to make some something different. Okay, oh, sorry, I, I wrote, I misspelled cup, cup, okay, like that. Okay, continuing with the countable and uncountable nouns. Uh, what else can we count? Uh, for example, um, okay, here I have my cell phone charger, okay, my, my cell phone charger, and can you count the charger? For example, can you say one charger, two chargers, three chargers? Yes, you can count them. So, this is a countable noun, and therefore, 
we are going to use how many to ask questions about quantity about this charger. For example, you can ask someone, hey, do you have, uh, no, sorry, how many uh, chargers do you have? I need, I need a charger for my phone. And uh, the person say, oh yes, I can give you one. I have two chargers, one for my cell phone and the other one I use it for emergencies, right? You can ask like that. Okay, let me charge my, my cell phone because it's dying. Okay, there we go. Now let's give an example with an uncountable noun this time. Uh, I wish I had more objects here, but I don't have many objects. Okay, um, mm -mm -mm. let's see. For example, I have this folder. This folder, okay? Now it's a little messy because it's all but uh, Oh, someone is in the conference. Hello? Hi. Oh, hello, Fidel. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, Fidel. Uh, I was waiting for you. Thank you. Okay, mister, you me encontró hablando solo. <laughs> yes. I was, I was thinking about the, because this video is recorded, okay? Queda ahí, ¿verdad? Para que lo vean después. Así que para que no solo me vean ahí esperándolo, ¿verdad? Pues tengo que estar explicando algo. Okay. Hey, Fidel Coreas, how may I help you today? Uh, in, in this day, I, I okay. How may I may I help you today? ¿Cómo lo puedo ayudar, joven? Uh, okay. Um, en lo de lo que se está explicando ahora en la clase, de la diferencia entre el much y el money. Ok, mire, y yo eso estaba hablando todo este rato, mira, aquí ya estaba tomando nota B en el, en el, en el, ¿cómo se llama? En el blog de notas, pero con gusto le explico de nuevo, no hay problema. Permítame un momento, le voy a compartir la pantalla para que pueda ver las notas que estaba haciendo. Ok, mister, here we have, how many and how much, ok, bueno, how much, joven es lo utilizamos ambos lo utilizamos para preguntar por cantidad ok le voy a estar explicando en español ¿verdad? porque el objetivo verdad es que me entienda lo que vamos a explicar aquí y tal vez si lo explico en, en inglés pues no me entienda ok porque ya esto es una parte gramatical pero ya para la práctica sí verdad <coughs> vamos a practicar un poquito en inglés puede visualizar mi pantalla mister sí yes ok bye como les repito, estos dos verdad los utilizamos para preguntar sobre cantidades, vea. Vale. Y este lo utilizamos para nombres que no se pueden contar. Un contable nouns. ¿Cómo sabemos que la Okay, I am recording. I am still recording. Okay, now I just completed the personal, uh, the private session for this week. 
uh, only, I think two students were missing. Yes, two students were missing and I only work with three students in the in the free time in the free time i explain about topics that the students wanted to know in that video conference and also i <coughs> sorry i explain about the, how much and how many because they were asking about that they were a little confused and, uh, and well this is it Thank you for your attention. If you have more questions, remember that you can ask me in the WhatsApp group and or in the comments, wherever I will try to answer as soon as possible. Uh, practice English and have a good night. Goodbye.